Hi, I'm Alexandria Slater. And I'm Ryan Coleman, and we are part of the Unifrance Critics Lab at this year's Cannes Film Festival. And today we're going to be talking about the new movie from the Belgian director team, brother team, the Dardan brothers. Um, the film is called Tori and Lokita. Um, the Dardan brothers have been favorites at Cannes for as long as they've been making movies, essentially. They won the Palme d'Or for the first time in the 90s with the film Rosetta. They won again in the 2000s for the film The Child. And they've been regularly playing competition here ever since. Um, and this film is a, a very short, bleak, and brutal sort of drama of what it's like to be an African undocumented immigrant in Belgium, in, in contemporary Europe, really. Um, and it stars Mbundu Jolie as the elder character Lokita and Pablo Shields as the younger character Tori. So the film opens with a scene um, with Lokita, the older sister, um, being interrogated by someone um, of high authority asking how she knows Tori, who she claims to be a brother. Um, it's a harrowing, very personal, intimate scene. Um, the actress is absolutely amazing. You can see all of the emotions being expressed onto her face with few words. Um, and what follows is the uh, pair trying to get Lakita's papers um, so she's able to stay in the country. Um, and it's a really moving sort of representation of how difficult it is to be a refugee in um, in the West. Um, they've come from West Africa um, and we find out that they met on a boat and that's how their friendship formed. They take care of each other and they're the only people um, that, that look out for each other. Um, the film follows the sort of sinister um, sort of sinister lives that they that they have because they're, they're only they're quite young um, mid-teens and then Tori's yeah. what 12 or maybe a bit Tori's younger. probably younger. I yeah. would say he's probably eight or nine yeah. maybe and then look he was probably in her mid-teens and it's just this really tragic story of it shows you the sort of bind that being in that situation puts you in because you're so restricted from moving about freely from having gainful employment also they're young yeah. and so they're drug dealers, aren't and they? well they have yeah exactly they have to resort to essentially dealing drugs they have this contact who's a chef in a basement at a restaurant and mm -hmm. he gives drugs to them, they go to parties, they're kids, so they can sort of pass through, you know, without really flagging anybody's concern. I, I guess that's the idea. Although there was that one scene where um, Tory crossed the road, didn't he, and the police stopped him. And exactly. I think that's a sort of subtle um, hint of what it's like to be um, black children in, in a society like this, where they do mm. get stopped just for crossing the road. And they don't really discuss that anymore, but it is mm -hmm. just a, a short representation. Yeah. Like. Well, it just shows, I mean, they're on, on the one hand, they're stopped everywhere they go. They're constantly forced to do things. They have to take these meetings. They have to be grilled. They live in terrible conditions. They're forced to do, essentially survive on, they have to, they have to become criminals. Mm -hmm. Yet at, on the you know they have no choice and yeah. so it's, it's you know coercion it is, exactly and then and then they get punished for making those yeah. decisions yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's also interesting that it represents the um, Christian characters in it as also thought of the antagonists just mm -hmm. showing how sort of um, wicked mm -hmm. religion can be because there's mm -hmm. these two um, people from the church who refer to Lakita as the sister but also threaten her with violence and mm -hmm. you just see how... And deportation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. she's waiting for her papers that she's not able mm -hmm. to get and it's just that one mm -hmm. that one document that she needs to sort of stay in the country yeah. and it should be a very simple yeah. process but in our society it's very, very difficult yeah. and yeah, it's a, it's an honest representation of yeah. of the lives that, um, that are occurring. And, yeah. yeah. And I think I, the last thing I would say about the film is that for me what really propelled it forward and I think some people are kind of I think this is maybe what people are missing that I know that we definitely felt is that the the main relationship between the two characters, the actors, you yeah. you really feel that bond they have. They have this sort of forever bond, and they really will. And to watch children have to invent, you know, to have to under, you know, f come up with things on the fly to protect each other yeah. when they shouldn't have to go they through shouldn't. such harrowing experiences. No. It's really powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely go and see it mm -hmm. because it's amazing.